everybody. So we've got a quick easy application here for you today. We're going to open a garage door with a widget on the home screen of our Android device. Um, there's an application out there already uh, that allows you to do an HTTP post request uh, from a widget on the home screen of your Android device and we're going to use that to call a function on our particle controller. Our particle module is going to be plugged into a single relay controller here um, and we're going to use that relay on board to open the garage door. Um, so this is going to be a really simple application, uh, no coding required at all. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install that application on your uh, Android device. So to get that, you go to uh, the Google Play Store and search for HTTP Post Widget. And let's see here, it should be here somewhere. Let's try a request. There it is. Uh, yeah, the name of the application is HTTP Request Widget. Um, let you do get and post requests. Um, function calls to the particle cloud to execute functions on the particle device are done through post requests. So it is important that the application support that. Um, so you're going to want to install that on your Android phone. And then we're going to uh, flash the cloud control firmware onto the module plugged into our relay board. So to flash that firmware in there, we'll go over to uh, build.particle.io forward slash build. Um, you're going to want to make sure your device is selected. If you have multiple devices, you'll want to make sure it's selected with a star next to it. And of course, you want to make sure it's online, indicated by the glowing cyan LED here on the screen and the glowing cyan LED on the module itself. So once that's selected, we're going to go to Libraries. And then under Libraries, you're going to come down here to Community Libraries, and you're going to search for NCD1 Relay. Um, that's for the single relay board. Of course, if you have a two relay board, four relay board, eight relay board, the name is the same. Uh, the number just changes. So here under My Libraries, uh, it shows up here for me because I'm the contributor. For you, you'll just search Community Libraries, um, and it should pop right up. Once it pops up, click to select it. And then it will come up with four tabs, control, uh, cloudcontrol.cpp, looptest.cpp, ncdrelay.cpp, and ncd1relay.h. So we're going to want to make sure cloudcontrol.cpp is selected, and then we're going to click Use This Example. And uh, it will fork that example into a local application on your code uh, repo there. And then um, you can flash it to the device. Uh, so you would just, at this point, you would just click the Flash button. And after it flashes, um, you should see the flashing magenta LED on your Photon module. Then it will reboot, reassociate with your Wi-Fi network, and then uh, reassociate with the particle cloud. Um, so once you have that cyan LED flashing again, uh, we are ready to go. So now we need to figure out how to construct our post request. So the easiest way to get to that is to go to docs.particle.io, and then we'll go to reference. And then we're going to go to Cloud API here, and we'll expand that, and then we'll expand devices, and then we'll click on Call a Function. Um, this has got a uh, basically a format for doing the request. Um, here they're doing it with curl, so we'll have to kind of alter this a little bit um, to actually make it work with our device. Um, what I like to do is I like to uh, copy all this. Uh, so I would just uh, copy this. Um, and then I'll email it to the address on my phone. And then there's a couple other things that you're going to need. We're going to need to know the ID of the device that we're executing this on. So the ID of the particle module we just flash that firmware to. And then we're going to need to know our access token you can go to particle build and then click on settings 
and here it will display your access token so you'll want to copy that and also put that in that email to yourself and then you're also going to want to get the ID of device so you click on devices expand this and then you're want, gonna want to get this device ID here and send that to yourself as well um, so you're gonna need all that on your phone in order to uh, make all of this work so once you've got this all ready you've got all this stuff emailed to your phone it's time to start uh, setting up the uh, Android application so to use this application what we do is we simply click and hold somewhere on our home screen and then we'll uh, click on widgets to add a widget and if you install that HTTP request widget it will be available here as a widget you can add to your home screen so we'll click on the HTTP uh, we'll, we'll click and hold on that HTTP widget and we'll drag it onto our home screen um, and now we're into a spot here where we can actually uh, enter the URL and the arguments and everything like that so at this point you would want to copy and paste in um, that uh, that link that we sent over to ourselves um, so you can go into your email and get that uh, and paste that in there actually you're going to want to get that before you go in here what you can do is you can just enter some dummy text in here for now and then click check um, and then we can go into our email and get all the information that we need So here we can uh, copy this URL. And then uh, to, to edit this widget, you actually open the app, the HTTP app in your app drawer. So open that up and we'll click on it here. And then um, here we're going to paste in the text. So we'll click and hold and we'll paste and then we need to delete a whole bunch of stuff here Oops, can't hold down it will delete it all uh, we need to and this kind of takes a second here you want to take off the access token on the end you want to take out the access token text and let's see we'll want to have a control relay here on the end So the way that this should look, and we also need to take this uh, HTTP S colon forward slash forward slash the beginning here off, um, and you want to change this drop down here to HTTPS. So what we want it to be is API.particle.io forward slash V1 forward slash devices forward slash the ID of your device. Um, you would have gotten that from the particle build. Um, and then after that we want forward slash control relay uh, would be the end of it so that's all you need on that line it should end with forward slash control relay um, now we need to uh, change this down here from HTTP type from get to post and then we need to add click that little plus button we need to add some key value pairs here the first one is going to be arg and the value for that is going to be momentary okay so uh, that's it for that one we need to add another one this one uh, the key is access underscore token and then the value is going to be that access token um, that you got uh, from the build IDE under the general settings area um, so uh, we'll just check this for now and then what I do is I go back into my email and I uh, unfortunately I won't let me just copy that because I kind of kind of did that wrong you need, I, I would recommend sending that access token 
on a separate line to make it easier on yourself um, definitely helps um, and then we'll go back into the, uh, the edit widget app and we'll scroll back down here and I'll click the plus here again uh, I need to enter access underscore token oops token then we need to enter the value here. So we'll click that, we'll click paste. And we just want this this right here, so we'll delete everything before that. So put your access token in there and then click um, check. Or you can, uh, if you want to add an image to this uh, widget, you can do that. You need to click on button with image. Um, and then you can go into your uh, gallery on your phone. I just ripped off an image. Um, from the internet here um, and I'm using that hopefully the creator of the image doesn't get too mad and then uh, we click check and widget updated successfully so now we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, press our button here and we'll see that the relay comes on for 300 milliseconds and then turns back off uh, which is the momentary function uh, posted by that firmware so at that point, uh, we're all ready to take this thing down and wire it up to a garage door and actually see it in action. So let's do that now. Here we can see the Photon Relay Controller installed. Connection's very easy. Just connect the common and normally open from the relay on the board to the contacts on your garage door opener. Generally, there's an open outlet above the garage door opener, so installation is very easy. So here we'll hit the button, and it opens the garage door right from a widget on the home screen of our Android device. It's almost like magic, isn't it?